We're taking it to Beatrice today. We're going to do a different kind of thing instead of like showing you all of the the pretty sights and stuff. Not that these are bad, but we're going to show you like Industrial Row. That when did they start that? Back in the nineties, yeah, something like that. And it started out like with one industry out there, and now it's got a bunch of them. This is one of the elementary schools here in Beatrice. This is the one where our oldest one started school. She went here through fifth grade. Did Tony start here? I can't remember. I don't remember. And they went to, well, and then we moved around a little bit. But there's like three, three or four elementary schools here in town plus the junior and senior high school so this is the water park and behind the tree there's a big old peak slide with some steps right beside it there's a lifeguard chair over there and a deck i don't know what that is is it a shelter it's kind of i don't know but there's another slide right beside that other one it's purple <laughs> anyway that it's a pretty decent water park I guess I don't remember all the buildings but they sure do make it look nice from the outside it's not just uh, just you know the water park and and the bunch of concrete buildings there the buildings look nice and they've got greenery around that's the first house we ever bought we ever owned now it the people somebody in between has fenced it and and put a different porch on there a nicer porch than what we had but I think that's the same siding that we had that yeah. steel siding so it has a big backyard but up here it's mosaic now. Real life, real possibilities. At one time it was Martin Luther home. And they they work with and house um, people with developmental disabilities. But I don't know what their philosophy is on uh, now but it's been quite a long time since I worked there their um, recreation is in a building there toward the back and this is they have different wings to this structure here where they um, where they they live and they had oh they used to have a chapel I don't know if they still do probably and they've got a kitchen and lunch area this is one of their housing units here that one was built um, they were starting to build it while we still lived up here we're going to be passing a place up here and it's pretty barren they're starting to build something there but I want to show it to you because Joe worked there for 20 years. It was called Storecraft Manufacturing. And it was a business that had been there for a long time. They supplied counters for places like Target. And did they do Walmart? Or, anyway, for a lot of different stores. And there was problems with, it's all kind of fenced off here now. The, the thing is, the it's been quite a while now but the sign is still there 1920 was when they were was when they opened up I worked there for 20 years and three months and then uh, we went on strike and I didn't go back nobody went back yeah they did. well yeah they did for, some people did 
a few. But they were on, you guys were on strike for how long? A couple months. Yeah. And, yeah, a few did. They, they had a lot of um, cheaper labor come in when they could not come to an agreement on a new contract with the union. Basically, the union, it broke the union. And it broke, eventually, it broke StarCraft, too. Um, which was sad, because... They, they couldn't show their product out west or down south, because that's all unionized down there, so they couldn't show their product, so... Yeah. They weren't allowed to go in and show their product because they weren't union. You so mean that, after they broke the union? Yep. So that's yeah. what... They hurt themselves really bad. It hurt both ends. That's what hurt. And, yeah. It really hurt both ends. Because Joe and his brothers all worked there, except for one brother. And it was... They, they considered it going to be their lifetime employment. Joe did a lot of, he did a lot of, um, well, you worked several different sections. Yeah. You, you worked machines and you worked, but he did a lot of his carpentry there. I did metal shop, did assembly, then I went back to metal shop for a little while, then I went back to assembly, then I went to machine room. Yeah, assembly was a lot of the carpentry work, right? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, this is where it used to be. And as you can see, the sign is still there. These are some new apartments, high-end apartments. That's what you were talking about. He came home the other day and told told me that he had come up to get groceries or something, and he told me about these new high-end apartments they were building up here. Anyway, we need to get back out on the road. This is not industrial road. Christensen Field. It's actually it's over there a ways, but actually the the Bruins, the Beatrice Bruins, that was their um, practice field, their minor league. Okay, there are so many more. This used to be down this way. This is X mark. X mark marks the spot. No. <laughs> Joe worked here for quite a few years. Two and a half. Oh, only two and a half. Okay. Well, he's been in, he did factory work for a long time. 25 years. 25 years. He keeps track of numbers better. But, uh, he just got to the point where the working on standing just standing on concrete floors and stuff all day it just really was getting to his back but this was about the only thing out here to begin with this is i mean they opened up it, this as an industrial row and this was the first one to actually build here so and it's it's pretty pretty big it's grown a lot <laughs> it has grown a lot I think it's probably one of the biggest industries on this end. Toro actually owns Xmark now. But the Xmark brand is still being produced by Toro. That's kind of what happens. Big companies buy out little companies and then you get your mega corpse. <laughs> Our son in law, this is shipping docks back here. That's a lot more shipping docks than I remember from when you worked out here. Because they were just all kind of on the south side of the building back then. But our son in law works here. He is a welder. He's been here for quite, quite a few years. I don't know which building he works in. <laughs> Because there's two. Oh, he worked. Okay. 
don't mind if my husband and I correct each other. That's just how we are. We don't get mad about it. There's the UPS. Niapco, I think. This is Niapco here. And they were, weren't they the second ones to build out here? Yeah, I think so. I'm pretty sure. There used to be one called American Tool, but they moved to China. When they had a chance to move to China and get cheaper labor and all that. J and J Wire Incorporated. I don't remember that one, but it's there. So yeah, it's still I mean it's growing out here. It's been growing. Yeah, this down here looks like it's a part a part of this um what did you call it? Corn. Corn one. Yeah. I can't remember the name of the company though yet. <laughs> Marathon, I believe. Marathon, yeah. This might be their tanks down here where they store all of that. I haven't been out here for so long. Yeah. So this is industrial where they've put the main industrial um, area for Beatrice. There's others, but this is where they built it specifically for new industry to come in, and it has really brought a lot of industry in, a, a lot of um, a lot of jobs, a lot of jobs, a whole lot of jobs. Oops, power machine and engine. I'm not exactly sure what that does. <laughs> Just as there's a battery place out here somewhere. I'm trying to think of the name of it. I can't think of the name of it. I don't know, but this is all somebody's shipping dock back here. I don't know what that is up there. Ford Atlantic. Ford Atlantic TTCWND. Address container systems, I don't know. Titan. That's Titan. Titan is in electronics, isn't it? I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know. I just hear... It says I, it's Beatrice Container System. That's true. It does. So they make containers, I guess. I don't know if they make containers, or they clean them, and distribute them. I don't know. Good night, everybody. I hope you enjoyed our little jaunt. See you tomorrow. Smile and wave at some money.